OpenAI has just taken a leap beyond expectations, launching a whole new family of AI models, O1 Preview and O1 Mini, that redefine what's possible in artificial intelligence. These models don't just improve on the GPT series, they claim to perform at PhD level in areas like physics, math, and coding, solving problems previously thought too complex for AI. In this video, you'll learn about how these models drastically outperform their predecessors, the real-world applications they excel at, and the limitations that remain. So stay tuned as we break down why this release has the AI world buzzing with excitement. A step beyond GPT. When OpenAI introduced the O1 model family, it wasn't simply an evolution of the GPT series. Instead, the O1 series, featuring O1 Preview and O1 Mini, was developed to handle far more complex tasks than GPT-4 ever could. These models aren't just focused on creating text or answering basic questions, they're designed to solve high-level problems across disciplines like physics, mathematics, chemistry, and biology. OpenAI's goal with this launch was to push the boundaries of AI reasoning, tackling challenges that require deep, multi-step thought processes that go well beyond previous models. The O1 Preview model in particular has been designed to perform at a PhD level in some of the most challenging academic fields. According to OpenAI's reports, O1 Preview excels in benchmarks that reflect this. For instance, during tests on the International Mathematics Olympiad IMO, qualifying exam, O1 Preview was able to solve 83% of the problems. To put that into context, its predecessor, GPT-4.0, only managed to solve 13% of those problems. This sharp increase in problem-solving capability marks a significant shift in what AI can accomplish, especially in specialized domains. What does PhD-level AI really mean? The term PhD-level intelligence might sound like marketing hype, but when it comes to models like O1 Preview, it's grounded in rigorous testing. One of the key areas where O1 Preview excels is in its ability to handle tasks that require deep reasoning and multi-step problem-solving. This isn't just about generating accurate responses to simple questions. It's about understanding and refining complex tasks in real time, much like a human researcher would. Let's take physics as an example. A physicist working in quantum optics might need to develop complex mathematical formulas to test hypotheses. O1 Preview can assist by reasoning through these formulas, helping researchers arrive at solutions that would take humans far longer to calculate. This isn't just theoretical. OpenAI has designed O1 Preview to excel at tasks like these by dedicating more processing time to think through problems, testing various strategies, and refining its answers. And it's not just physics. The O1 Mini model, though less powerful than its bigger sibling, still holds its own in fields like coding and math. Despite being 80% cheaper, O1 Mini managed to score 70% on the IMO math benchmark, closely trailing O1 Preview's 83%. It's a more streamlined version designed to be cost-effective, but still robust enough to handle complex problems. Coding and multi-step workflows. One area where both O1 Preview and O1 Mini stand out is in coding. According to OpenAI, the models excel at solving programming challenges and debugging complex code, making them ideal tools for developers. The real advantage lies in their ability to handle multi-step workflows. For instance, developers often need to execute tasks that require several steps to complete, tasks that involve writing, debugging, and refining code across multiple systems or applications. O1 Preview's reasoning ability allows it to streamline these processes, reducing development time and increasing efficiency. In coding competitions like Code Forces, O1 Preview ranked in the 89th percentile, an incredible achievement that places it among the top programmers globally. This means that for developers working on high-stakes projects, O1 Preview can save time and reduce the likelihood of errors. Whether it's debugging complex code, automating workflows, or solving challenging programming tasks, the O1 models have proven to be valuable tools. Applications in healthcare and science. The potential for the O1 models goes far beyond coding. In fact, some of the most exciting applications lie in healthcare and scientific research. In healthcare, for instance, researchers often work with massive data sets, whether it's analyzing cell sequencing data or identifying patterns in medical imaging. These tasks require deep analysis and precision, and this is where the O1 models can shine. According to OpenAI, O1 Preview can assist in annotating complex biological data, helping researchers discover insights that would otherwise take weeks or even months to uncover. 
In scientific research, the models can be used to generate mathematical formulas or refine hypotheses, especially in fields like chemistry and biology. The ability to reason through complex tasks means that researchers can focus more on experimentation and less on the tedious process of data analysis and formula generation. By handling these more routine but complex tasks, the O1 models allow researchers to accelerate their work. Where the O1 models fall short While the O1 models are undeniably impressive, it's important to highlight the current limitations. For all their groundbreaking capabilities, O1 Preview and O1 Mini are still in their early stages. Right now, they only support text-based tasks, meaning they can't generate images, browse the web, or handle file uploads. For users who need these features, whether for content creation, data analysis, or simply accessing real-time information, the O1 models fall short. This lack of browsing and image generation also limits the model's applicability in certain domains. For instance, designers or content creators who rely on AI to generate visual content won't find much utility in the O1 series. OpenAI has promised that these features will be added in future updates, but for now, users looking for a more versatile tool may still prefer to use GPT-4. Additionally, there are usage limits that might frustrate some users. Right now, ChatGPT Plus and Team users have access to the O1 models but the usage is capped at 30 messages per week for O1 Preview and 50 messages per week for O1 Mini. This makes the models less accessible for those who need consistent and long-term use, particularly in research or development environments where constant access is essential. Enterprise and EDU users will gain access soon, but rate limits are still a major drawback at this stage. Safety and Security one of the most significant advancements with the O1 models is in the area of safety and security. OpenAI has implemented a new safety training approach designed to ensure the models better follow alignment and safety guidelines. This is critical in an era where AI models are increasingly tested for their ability to generate harmful or inappropriate content. In one of OpenAI's toughest jailbreaking tests, where the model is tested to see if it can be manipulated into producing unsafe content, O1 Preview scored 84 out of 100, compared to GPT-4O's much lower score of 22. OpenAI is also working closely with both the US and UK AI safety institutes to rigorously test these models before making them available to the broader public. This collaboration is part of OpenAI's larger commitment to developing safe AI technologies. However, it's important to note that AI safety is still a developing field. And while the O1 models are certainly safer, they are not foolproof. There's still room for error, and ensuring complete safety will require continuous updates and oversight. Why O1 could be a game changer for AI? What makes the O1 series truly stand out is its ability to handle highly specialized tasks. While the GPT series was incredibly versatile and excelled at a wide range of tasks, it was more of a general purpose AI. GPT models are great for answering questions, generating text, and engaging in casual conversation. But they struggle when it comes to complex, domain-specific challenges. That's where the O1 series comes in. With the O1 models, OpenAI has shifted the focus to solving niche, specialized problems that require deep expertise. Whether it's assisting a physicist with a quantum optics experiment, or helping a developer streamline a multi-step coding process, the O1 series has the potential to revolutionize how we approach complex problem solving in specific fields. However, as impressive as these models are, they're not ready to replace GPT-4 for everyday tasks like casual conversation or general content generation. OpenAI has acknowledged this and recommends that for most common use cases, GPT-4 remains the more capable tool for now. The O1 models are highly specialized, and while they represent a significant advancement in AI capabilities, they're not yet designed for general use. What's next for the O1 series? OpenAI is already planning for the future. The O1 models are still in their early stages, and OpenAI has been clear that more features will be added in the coming months. Some of the most anticipated updates include browsing capabilities, file uploads, and image generation features that are already present in GPT-4 but are currently missing in the O1 series. Once these features are added, the O1 models will become much more versatile, opening them up to a wider range of use cases beyond just text-based problem solving. For instance, image generation could be a game-changer for professionals in fields like design or content creation. 
while browsing capabilities would allow users to gather real-time data or research information directly through the model. OpenAI has also hinted that function calling and streaming, essential features for certain types of applications, will eventually be added to the API versions of the O1 models, making them even more useful for developers. O1 and GPT – A Dual Approach Interestingly, OpenAI has emphasized that it's not abandoning the GPT series despite the launch of O1. In fact, OpenAI plans to continue developing and releasing new versions for both the GPT and O1 models, positioning each for different types of tasks. While the O1 models are highly specialized, the GPT series will likely remain the go-to for more general use cases, like conversational AI, content creation, and casual browsing. By maintaining both model families, OpenAI is ensuring that they cater to a broad spectrum of users, from developers and researchers needing advanced reasoning tools to everyday users looking for a versatile AI assistant. With these advancements, the launch of the O1 series marks a pivotal moment in AI development. While there are still some limitations, especially when it comes to missing features and usage caps, the potential for these models is undeniable. For specialized tasks in science, technology, and healthcare, the O1 models offer a glimpse into the future of AI, where machines can assist experts with the most challenging problems. The O1 series might not be ready to replace GPT-4 for everyday use just yet, but it's clear that we're only at the beginning of what could be a significant leap forward in AI capability. If you've made it this far, let us know what you think in the comments section below. For more interesting topics, make sure to watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. Thanks for watching.